Right Golf Shop Online, as we're going to talk Odyssey triple track putters today. So in my hand, I've got the 10 triple track. Triple track being these very unique lines that you see here on the top of the putter as you look down. So you get the red thicker line to the blue thinner lines on the outside. Now, we're talking about it in putters, and I'm not particularly going to talk about styles because you can get many different styles with triple track. But we're going to talk just basically about these lines. Now, there's a bit of an ecosystem from ball markers to balls, obviously, which then links these up. Um, but the idea with the triple track putters, even if you are not using a triple track ball, so the Callaway Chrome Softball here with the matching line pattern here look, on top to try and help you line everything up, you do get with triple track very distinct lineage. If you're someone who wants lines and they help you point a club in a direction, as putters on their own, I get it, it works. I've done some tests with these with beginner golfers and I found some patterns, it was small, very player specific still, but there were some patterns of lesser skilled golfers. You gave them bigger lines, bigger headed putters. They were much better at aiming their putter. And in turn, they were a little better, and this was smaller, at delivering their putter. So in the desired angle to hit the ball where they wanted it to go. Absolutely, I did see some patterns that people were better at aiming it when the club aimed itself and they had the big lines to assist them. Again, something that you might want to test yourself. Now, if you start pairing a triple track putter, so these big lines from Odyssey, with the triple track ball, you do really start to get some very strong visual cues on start lines and aim. So if you're very good, all good, decent at aiming the ball, so with the line of the ball, obviously you could have any line if you don't use this brand of ball, but you wanted this brand of putter, you could have any ball with a line up and use it. But obviously the blending of that color to this color is fantastic as a strong visual cue. Now, if you're someone who's very good at aiming the ball, then in theory now with those lines marrying up, the putter is just going to fall in line. And it definitely gives me, as I stroke it back and forwards when I do practice putts with this, I definitely get strong visuals of direction I want to swing the club. So if I'm swinging from angles, it really stands out clear. And then in turn, if I've got some face controls, I marry the red lines up and the blue lines up. So when it comes to an ecosystem of products, I do think triple track has a lot of advantages. I think it has some disadvantages as well. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of lines or balls. It's not something I use. I tend to get over and second guess if I've put that line in the right place. So that's where I get tripped up. So I don't use it. I play with people who, so Matt Lockie, who plays in lots of my videos over on my YouTube channel, he uses it sometimes, but not all. So when he wants that little safety net, he uses it. And when he doesn't, he just turns it off. He just moves it away when he puts his ball down or ignores the line if he's playing a shot where he can't mark it and they're appearing, he just kind of looks through them. So maybe just having that safety net is an option for yourself as well. Triple track in an ecosystem of products from the ball to the putter. If you do start linking them, I think they're quite powerful if it plays into the way you want to play golf. Will it make you better or not? That's something you should test. But for some golfers, I definitely think it would really help them in some certain situations.